Hey guys, welcome back to Bows Fan TV, and today we're going to be doing the match preview for our game against Longford tomorrow evening at the City Cotton Stadium half seven kickoff. Obviously, a bit, bit, bit of a um, change in scenery today. Uh, I'm out in my garden. Uh, I've been busy the past couple of weeks, that's why there was no content on the page. Sorry about that, but I'm back now. Um, I'm doing the preview now for our game against Longford tomorrow evening. Uh, just as well I was gone really because things haven't been going too well lately. We picked up two defeats there against Finn Harps and Dundalk. The Finn Harps game and the Dundalk game, I think they were kind of the opposite of each other. The first first game, uh, the Finn Harps game, um, I thought we played well in the first half. We could have been at least two up, one up. But then um second half we just weren't at it. We ended up losing the game 2-1. Um, Dundalk... I think it was probably not the best first half performance. The second half, I thought we picked it up a bit. We got on the ball more. We didn't create much chances. Uh, they went down and up. Wilson pulled them back for us. We kind of pushed on from there, but um, we couldn't find the goal to, to equalise. Um, two pretty poor results. Two meh performances. I think they've, they've noticed that the level of um, maybe let's say um you know intensity pace was kind of gone in a way like we, we, we don't have much um energy we, we're losing a bit of pace i think with the amount of games we play and players are getting tired um i think this game though we should be winning i'm saying that with not much confidence judged on our form but I think we really should be winning this game because uh, I think qualifying for Europe through the league now I think is going to be quite difficult um, you know we've kind of it's, it's our fault really we, we haven't been up to the, the standards over the past month or so I'd say pretty much since we've not been knocked out of Europe I don't think we've really been at it um, but hey what can you do we, we've still got the cup uh, we got a pretty favourable enough draw Against Waterford at home, you know, we avoided the Pats or a Dundalk. Waterford are still a decent team, though, and with the former in at the minute, it's going to be difficult, but it's a cup semi final. Just got to get behind the team and hope we win. But more into the, <coughs> excuse me, more into the, uh, <coughs> sorry, more into the Longford game now. Um, despite them probably being already relegated, I think. Pretty much already been relegated for the past like six months, but you now they'll still fight long for it, uh, despite not having much quality in their team. They have a few decent enough players. I, I really like Gabe Derivan, I'd really like to see him at Bowers next season. Um, I, I'd really rate him. Uh, they got one or two other okay players, but other than that, their squad is mainly made out of first division players. And I think if you keep the squad, I think we might do well again next year in the first division, but. I think it's a game we should be winning, you know. Um, we'll get into the whole ticket thing as well. I'll talk a bit about that in a few minutes. But, um, yeah, it, we'll have a decent away support going. Um, I think we should be looking to win this game comfortably enough. Longford will still fight, but I still think we should win. Before I get into my team, I'll, I'll talk about the whole ticket thing. So, obviously... There was information released by Longford there during the week about tickets saying that it'd go on sale at 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning, I believe. Um, and then it kind of, there was no real, everyone thought it'd be kind of distributed by bottles because that's what Longford said. But there was no email. Um, people were saying, oh, what's the story? Then there was a link that Longford had put up the previous day when they made the announcement. And people, I think, it's kind of sort of saved that link. And went in and got tickets and then sort of left people kind of stuck when they all got sold out. I was one of the unlucky ones, unfortunately. I couldn't get my hands on any. I tried looking for spares, but I think I've, I've, uh, I've lost on that front. Uh, so it looks like I'm just watching the game on the stream. But um, yeah, um, I think there's been a bit of a uproar on Twitter about it. Um, you know, and understandably, if you were one of the fans who, you know, go to the away games week in, week out. Well, obviously, not every week, because we don't play away every week, but every 
other week, you know, you're, you're at the away games, you're at most of them, and you're letting new kind of fans come in, um, and they're going to start taking them on everybody, but what can you do? Um, I'm sure some people got sorted if they didn't get tickets, I well, unfortunately didn't, but, um, you know, I think it's there's a few people who are blaming you know, people blaming Longford for it, people blaming Bowles for it, people blaming what are people for it, you know, the fact that maybe Longford didn't give us enough tickets, I think they only gave about 250, which should be more, even though I think they said that you've only got like 50% capacity, but, you know, listen, it's it's getting to the stage now where the reels are going to be relaxed, uh, the coin should be open up again. Now, surely you can have a few more in, you know, but, can you do? Uh, my team, um, I've got Talbot and goal, Andy Lyons at right back, uh, Cornwall and Kelly at centre back, Wilson at left back, I think he's probably, probably cemented his place back in the team, I think Keith Long's probably picking the left back kind of situation off form because I don't think Breslin had his best game against Finn Harps, I think Wilson is probably going to be back in the squad now for a little while, he got a goal on Monday so He's back on form, I suppose. He'll be playing now. Um, midfield, uh, Devoy and Buckley, I think, should be down to. Then the front four, I'd say it'd be Burr, Tierney, Coote and Kelly. Uh, Coote hasn't been playing lately. I think he has had a bit of a knock, so I don't think he long really wanted to risk him. He came on for the second half on Monday and he, he did do okay. He was doing little bits, but not much. We certainly added a bit more to the team. Uh, score prediction, I'm going to go 2-0. Two 2-0 two balls. I think we should be looking to win this in fairly comfortable fashion. Maybe a bit like the last one we had, I think it was back in May, where we beat them 2-0 at, at the City Collins Stadium. It wasn't a dominant enough 2-0 win, although I'd like it to be. Um, it was kind of more of a game where Longford fought for it, but we just had a bit too much quality and we took our chances when they came to us so I think it'll be that sort of game again so yeah 2-0 is my score prediction anyway that's where I'll end it make sure you like subscribe share comment down below what you think of heading into the game and I'll see you in the next one bye bye